Okay, hello, I'm back. You didn't really see any of that, but anyways, um, he'll get over. He's pretty understanding. I know I'm a boss. I'm more of an average and an independent person. Whoa, so you're like a time vigilante? You're even cooler than I thought. Okay, um, let me think. Uh, maybe your secret lucky number. Why am I here? I'm confused. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Oh my gosh, this, this is like only one of the places you can choose, and there's like so many. This game is like huge, it's like amazing. Like, this game is really good, actually. Loading, let's load this one. Let's not load that one. Let's see what the quick save. Ah, oh, freak. <laughs> uh, Let me say. Um, so I've been thinking about school lately. What's going on? Sounds like someone's shouting. Okay, I leave you the duck. You stuck. I saved your life, and then I'm going to be doing this now. And I'm going. To, yep. Quick save here. I'm actually a wizard. I'm actually from the future. I'm psychic. Well, I'll save this over one of the. I'll I don't know what you're trying to say over. Yeah, whatever. I, I just want to do that. Yeah. Um, I'm psychic. I really love the safe game. Yeah, I'm psychic. Haha. Uh -huh. No, I'm being serious. You dark. How did you know? Sorry. No, I was just making a little joke and I got it. No, really. Like, yes, being stuff. You got part. Thank you for that much. Alright, I'll play on the, I'll play along. Okay, I got one. What's your guess? 77 Ha! Got you! It was negative 8! No one ever guesses negative numbers! But I am going to now! Negative 8! Okay, that was luck! Do it again! I've got a new number! That was totally not enough! Negative 8! No! Negative 2754! <laughs> Wrong! It was 7.553! If you're a real mind reader, you'd have known. Decimal points are the natural enemies of frauds, you know? I should have known this was all a trick. I think I'm going home. I'm a stone little rattle bat tonight, and I want to get some sleep. Finish your burgers and head out. I am psychic, you will believe me. Okay, it's getting harder to explain these by luck. It's actually kind of creepy. Let's assume for the moment that I believe you. Why are you telling me this? What's this all about? I just saw you in trouble and helped Psychic Guy Code and all that. Why is it always Psychic Guy Code? I'm actually secretly a superhero. I tell you my secret superhero, but I'm a customer. No. I'm gonna pretend. Or a dust around you. I can see free channel. It's very great, actually. When I really need this in some ways, trust me if I had. I can just see. This is. These. I like some of these. I like this one. I like this one and um yeah these two but other than that these ones are just weird. Let's just save what we're in number four. I <laughs> so I don't know. Um I just saw you in trouble and I'm actually a superhero. I'm here to protect you. Oh that doesn't sound good at all. Then what should what do we do now? Now we should leave, I'm sure this place is... I'm not sure if this place is... Now we finished there. That's a plan I can get behind. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's it like being a psychic? <sighs> the pants of being a psychic. <laughs> I'm actually psychic. Okay, I can see and it looks pretty grim. Actually, all I need... Nope. Look. Even after you save my life? That's crappy. I knew I should have gone out of bed this morning. Okay, so grim stuff is going down. What can we do to stop it? <sighs> I'm going back to the beginning. Hmm. Nice. I'm totally gonna use that. The hot local Hogwarts pickup stop. 
Let's do that. Hello? Oh, you're early. You must be calling about tonight. I'm I meant to ask where we're meeting. I know we were planning on having dinner, but we never decided where. Where are we having dinner? Actually, I don't think I want to meet up tonight after change plans. What do you mean? Too dangerous? What do you mean, too dangerous? Is this some kind of weird joke you're playing on me? I can never really tell when you're joking, or when you really when you really mean something. Well, I was just thinking, maybe we can go for a drive or something. Uh, actually, it's been a slight change in plans. Meet me at the local Hogwarts pickup stop, and I'll tell you all about it. Why can't you tell me now? Wait, how do you even know about the local Hogwarts pickup stop? Are we talking about the same place? I'm... Hmm... Let me think. No, I'm positive I never told anyone about that. I didn't even write it in my diary. There's literally no way you could have known about that. That thing that you just said. It's not scientifically possible. You are not scientifically possible. Thank you, that was a compliment. Okay. But you've really got me really curious now. Something weird is clearly going on around here. And then, and it involves my secret Hogwarts pickup stop. So I aim to get to the bottom of it. Okay, so here's what we'll do. I'll go to the to that spot now, and you'll come and meet me there. If we end up at the same spot, the spot which is which there's no possible way you can know about, then you will have a lot of explaining to do. There's a that's a fun song. Let's do this. Pictures. Okay. So this is actually where I was. If you see the picture, yeah. Let's do that. It's gone very far. Yes. Okay. You head up directly out to Moore's Hill, only to find Felicia has gone there ahead of you. Given that she lives far further away, you assume that means she was in a hurry. The hill was is peaceful, and the stars is just starting to come up. You can see the whole town spreading out in front of you. Felicia didn't say anything until you approach, and doesn't even seem to be looking at you. Only after you, you sit down next to her does she feel, finally acknowledge your presence. Oh, holy, it's going down. Alright, I'm here, and you have some explaining to do. Let's start with the big question. Just what exactly is going on? Tell me the truth. You can't handle the truth! Uh, you say I'm a wizard. What? I'm <laughs> seriously... Everything here that I'm... Oh my god, this is exactly, this is like a different restaurant or something. Yeah, let's just quick save here. You can't handle the truth! Well, actually, you see, I'm a wizard. No, I'm a chicken peach. I should turn down. Let's just try this. Go on. How does I explain you knowing things I've never told anyone? This is the first time I've played. Did tell me anything. So it was me that told you. And I just don't remember it, because it didn't happen in this session or something? I guess that makes sense, in a Twilight Zone sort of way. So what's all this about, this game? I mean, what are you trying to do in it? I'm trying to find a good ending, I haven't found one yet. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see game as I can, I haven't explored this path yet. You keep dying in stupid No. No. I'm trying to find a good ending, I haven't found one yet. Oh, so us going out to dinner, as planned, must have been a bad ending then. What exactly happened at that dinner? You died in a lot of stupid ways. Ah, <sighs> well, once you died from being caught in a shootout, you got hit by a car when we left the restaurant. Sometimes you died in the dust. You died and um, died. You got hit by a car. Once you died by being caught in a shootout. Wait, what? We were. Why were we having dinner someplace where shootouts happened? I was just planning on a taco palace or something. Wait a minute, and the way you just said that, exactly how many times have you had to watch me die? I lost count, honestly. Oh, that bad, huh? So, let me get this straight. You're playing a game, a game in which I seem to be destined to die if we go out to dinner. So this time, you convinced me to come here instead of going to dinner. Because if we go to dinner, I'm basically doomed? So, what does that mean now? Since we didn't go to dinner, am I in the clear? I don't know yet. Let's find out! I haven't seen this one yet, but I'm hopeful. I'm not sure, but honestly, you've died everywhere else, so I wouldn't think. 
but I'm hopeful. Well, you're apparently the arch expert in me dying, so let so that's probably a, a good sign. So now what? What do we? Okay, that was kind of scary. I guess we just talk and see what happens. This is all too big to take in at once, almost. I'm kind of out of my death here. She laughs suddenly. I was going to say that I've never been in this situation before, so I'm not really sure how to react. But if what you're saying is true, I've been in this situation a lot of times so far. I still don't know how to react though. I'm kind of in shock, and I am going on autopilot. I really want to t believe you about all this, but somehow I know you're telling me the truth. I really don't want to believe. I really want to not believe you. Okay. Well, here we are. We've successfully cheated my death. Even if it's only for a little bit. What should we talk about? I look over there at the burger shack. <gasps> and the mad stillness, the sound of gunshots is quite clear, even from far away. <gasps> even at night. <gasps> Several blinking police lights appear and trace their ways towards the burger shack. That's the only place we went to, so that's why. Yes. Just as they start to arrive, there is a bright flash and another loud noise. The burger shack now seems to be very much on fire. You know, I have been thinking about asking him how to do burgers tonight. Guess I can see how that would have turned out. Night silence around you. Suddenly there is a light and movement in the sky. A moment later, another, and then the sky is full again. <gasps> Shooting stars, rain from the sky. Your own personal celestial fireworks display. Oh, this is beautiful! Did you know these would be here? Is this why you picked this spot? She gazes up in silent wonder. One of the shooting stars catches your eye. It's looking especially bright. Oh no. Oh wow, look at that one! With monstrous and ro roaring noise, it gets bigger and bigger. There's a flash and a boom that you feel through fate as much as your ears. When you see again, there's a smoking creator centered almost exactly where Felicia was standing. Her hat is still on fire, gently drifting to the ground on your feet. It's the only thing that's about to move so fast. It's cool. As it turns out, I have second powers. I'm actually going to teach you. Absolutely. No. I don't know why, but I don't think you're being honest with me. And, I'm sorry, my secret dreams and feelings are not something I'm willing to be lied to about. Tonight. Wow. She walks over to her bags, parked next to the statue on the top of the hill. Somehow you're not even surprised when the statue starts clean and topples over the here. Go on. Oh, she actually believes me. Here. Oh, this is like Inception, like, oh my gosh. Oh, wait a minute, from the way you just said that, how many times have you had to watch me die? I lost count, honestly. Oh, that bad, huh? So let me get this straight, you're playing a game, a game in which I seem to be destined to die if you go out to dinner. So this time, you convinced me to come here instead of going to dinner, because if we go to dinner, I'm basically like doomed. So what does that mean now? Since we didn't go to dinner, am I in a clear? We died everywhere else, so... Oof. Brutal honesty. It's okay, though. I can take it. But you understand if I, if I, if I hold out hope until the end, right? So now what? I guess we just talk and see what happens? This is all too big to take in at once, almost. I say, like... I, I don't know if there's... Actually, you should sit. Oh, yes, yes. Actually, you should come sit on the other side of the bench. Oh, okay. More cheating death, I assume. <laughs> what would it be this time? The shooting star is going to land right about where you're sitting in a few minutes. What? And spoil the surprise? Oh, fine. Keep me in suspense. See if I can. She moves over on the opposite side of the bench. So if death is averted, what kills me after that? Or am I in the clear? 
I don't know yet. This is new to me too. Yep, totally. So we're gonna hop in. Here we go. Oh, exciting! But given that I've already died several times today, you'll understand if I remain a bit on edge. The night silence around you, and then, ta, shooting stars. Oh, this is beautiful. Did you know that these were here? Is this why you picked this spot? She gazes up in silent wonder. It looks bright. Oh wow, look at that one! And BOOM! When you see again, there's a smoking crater about 10 feet across, centered almost exactly what Fridge had not seen before. Or she moved. Oh yes! Wow, that was exciting! You even warned me and everything, and it was still scary! Oh my gosh! The shooting stars continue their silent, fury cascade across the sky. Oh, what's that? Look, the stars are changing color. You look up and you realize she's right. Now the shooting stars are changing. Where they were before they were just quick white scratches across the sky. Now they are slower streaks of all different colors. They seem to be moving more slowly as well. One of the larger ones passes almost directly overhead. It looks a little hot though. It almost looks like... Oh, come on, flying saucers? Seriously? I don't mean to criticize, but this game of yours is not even pretending to take itself seriously anymore. At that moment, there's a blind green light and a sound not unlike a giant rubber band twinging. Well, this game is... As shaft of light lances down from one of the saucers overhead and bathes you both in greenish radiance, you just have enough time to hear Felicia mother seriously? Before you're about to start us stardust by the alien cosmic rays, I died too. Well, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, there we go. A shooting star is about to hit you. Wait, seriously? Is it just me or are these deaths getting more and more improbable? She moves over to the opposite side of the bench. So, if that death is averted, what can we have here? No, this is just a temporary measure. Buys you like another five minutes. Tops. Figures. So I can't guess me this time. <laughs> okay, if you insist, you die with the aliens from there. Um, aliens? Like from across the border? Or space kind? For real? You're serious? This just keeps getting less and less possible. Okay, so there will be space aliens. Who comes after that? I don't know yet. Got it. One thing at a time, I guess. The night's silence around you. Actually, let's talk. Oh. Actually, let's talk about this game. I'm hoping you can help me figure out what to do next, since I'm running out of ideas. Okay. I convinced. I confess a certain amount of interest in this topic. Where do you, Where do you want to start? I wish I knew what this was all about. I wish I knew what this was all about. What do you think you'd be funny? Um, yeah. ah, that's a pretty good question. I assume you mean about the game you're playing, but you have to admit, game or no game, it's the right kind of question to be pondering on the hilltop, looking up at the stars. Heck, I can't see the game. I mean, I see the absurd things that have been going on tonight, and your ex explanations rings true out and all. But from my point of view, I'm not in the game. And it's still a good question. Maybe the answers are the same. You're basically asking, why do bad things happen, right? That's something people have been asking since forever. I guess, I doubt I'll get the satisfactory answer from the game though. Maybe, but the bad things seem pretty darn determined in your case. Yeah, I can see you, don't they? Maybe you're asking the wrong question then. After all, the game is clearly about something. I don't know what the game looks like from your end, but for mine, well, I can't see the people going through the trouble of making a game as good as this without having something in their mind that they want to say. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, I think I, I think I'm starting to get what they want to say though. Ah, man. Say, what does the game look like anyway? To me, it just looks like you know, life. What's it like to you? It's not like a visual novel. I see pictures and I pick choices from many. It's a happy realistic of graphics in real time to and then blast, it's like there three, and um, 
Oh, that seems that, that sounds pretty low budget. That's too bad. If I'm not actually real and my whole existence is actually a lie and all that, it would be nice to at least know that it was a high budget lie with nice graphics. Suddenly there's a light and movement sky one layer and another and then the sky's full of them. Shooting stars, raining from the sky. Your own personal celestial fireworks. Oh, this is beautiful. Did you know these two would be here? Is this why you picked this spot? She gazes up in silent wonder. Why is this game so hard? Why do you keep on dying? I wish I could figure out how to win this. Do you have it? Why? What am I missing? Why is this game? It's almost time. Why do you keep on dying? Hey, that's kind of a personal question. She giggles. I don't know. I'm not really sure how to answer that. I mean, I haven't exactly been kicking over to tombstones or tripping old, tripping old gypsies ladies or anything lately. I can honestly say that this is a bit outside my experience, so I don't really have any ideas why it keeps happening. How would you even go about diagnosing something like that? Excuse me, doctor, but can you tell me why I'm doomed? I mean, I don't know. Let's think about this. How does it actually work in video games? Maybe I'm just supposed to die a tragic death, like Arius or something. Whoa, spoiler alert! Where's Arius? Yeah. Who's Arius? Wait, seriously? You never played Final Fantasy VII? No. Oh. I'm not sure if we can be friends anymore. Well, anyway, it's, she was a character in the game. She died and everyone got really upset. Isn't that just... It's Aerith, isn't it? Huh? Because, you know, it was kind of out of the blue. Back then, games usually only killed side characters, not core party members that you had time to become invested in. A lot of fans didn't take it well. They didn't like losing her and didn't like realizing that there was absolutely nothing you could do to save her. Oh. Anyway, maybe it's like that. I'm supposed to die in order to, you know, embolden you, strengthen your resolve so you can complete your epic quest. Haha. <laughs> but on the other hand, if the game always ends up, ends right after I die, and if there are a bunch of ways I can die, then that just seems to imply that you're supposed to find a way to avoid? She seems lost in thought for a moment, watching the falling stars streak across the sky. That makes sense, though. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting attached. Ugh. Ah, uh, it's not. It's not. Ugh. I suppose. I guess. Don't take this the wrong way, but you could say I keep dying because of you. But on one hand, you could say I keep dying because we haven't figured out how to save him yet. But on a deeper level, you could say that I keep dying because you keep playing. For example, if you'd stop after the first time I died, then I would have only died once. I'm not saying that's preferable, but what would happen to me, to the world, if you just stopped playing? Would I stay dead? What if you quit the game before I died? What happens to the characters in the story, if the storyteller stops before he's done? She falls silent again, watching the shooting stars. One of the shooting stars catches your eye, it's looking especially bright. Oh wow, look at that one! With monsters roar, gets bigger and bigger, and a flash, and a boom, as you, your feet as much as your ears. This this game is like really enlightening now. And as you can see again, there's a smoking crater about 10 feet across, centered almost exactly where Felicia had been sitting before she moved. Well, that was exciting. You even warned me and everything, and it was still scary. What am I, mi what am I missing here? Why is the game so hard? Well, according to you, what you're missing is the answer to a puzzle. Although, if you want my opinion, you might also be missing a clear idea of what exactly it will it will look like when you find it. But let's think through it. You've gotten this far by saving and loading your games to make sure that you never make mistakes, right? But now you're worried that there might not actually be a choice you you can make that leads to what you want. If you've reached the end of what you accomplished with good choices, then all that's left is bad choices, right? What else can you do, right? If your choices are all bad ones, then you either have to pick one anyway, or stop playing by the game's rules. Oh! She nervously fiddles with her hat for a moment. 
Did you ever see the movie Groundhog Day with Bill, what's his name, Murray? Murray? Right, Bill Murray, I think. Murray? <laughs> yeah, I remember that movie. Oh, cool, wasn't that a great movie? Anyway, I'm just thinking about how that movie ended. He kept doing all the things with the town folk and making changes, but ultimately, he couldn't get out until he changed himself in some way. I wonder if this is sort of like that. Obviously, it isn't a perfect analogy, but maybe the choice you need to make to win isn't something that you can do, but rather something you have to be. The shooting starts beginning with a silent fear cascade across the sky. Almost fine. So, this is when the island show up? This is, will be novel, if anything else. I guess I'm going, if I'm going to die, I might as well enjoy the spectacle. Will you really will after I'm dead? I know I won't remember this, this then, but will you be back? Yes, I am figured out, but I'm not. That's good, that makes me feel better, somehow. Even though it doesn't change anything for me now, it still makes me feel better. So, the part where I die. Well, um, will it hurt? I don't know, not for me, I anyway. Mean, like, I don't really want to talk about it, it's going to happen anyway. Let's not dwell on it. Okay, I'll try. It's kind of hard though, it's just there, in the all too near future, looming. Look, I think your aliens have arrived. Har arrived. The city is burning. Sure enough, the air is now full of flying saucers, whizzing around. Several buildings are visibly on fire. I guess you're right about, well, all of this. It's probably safe to stop hoping that this is all some kind of trick or something. Somehow, though, I knew ever since we came up here, that's what you are saying was true. That's what you are saying was true. I'm glad we were waiting for a like this. It feels braver, somehow, facing it head on. I guess this is the end. Guy, any last words for you? I'll see you again. You seem to see any doubt they have in mind. What should I know? We've already established that I'm probably not a good source of insight into the author's mind. That being said, though, somehow I doubt it. <laughs> you just have enough time to see Felicia flash you one last. Infectious grin before you are both reduced to stardust by the alien's cosmic rays. Aww. So sad. <sighs> Learn from this. Change you. Now, change the decision. Whoa, spoiler alert! Oh come on, that game is nearly old enough to vote. <laughs> the Statue of Limitations is clearly up on that one. But anyway, maybe it's like that. I'm supposed to die in order to, you know, embolden you, strengthen your resolve, so you can complete your epic quest. <laughs> but, on the hand, but on the other hand, if, you, if your game always ends up right after I die, and if there are a bunch of ways I can die, then that just doesn't seem to imply you're supposed to find a way to avoid it. I suppose, I guess, doesn't, don't get this wrong way, but I could say I keep, I keep dying because of you, but on, there, on the other hand, you could say I keep dying because they didn't figure out how to save me yet. But on a deeper level, you could say that I keep dying because you keep playing. For example, if you'd stopped playing after the first time I died, then I would have died only once. But on the other hand, that's preferable. I'm not saying that's preferable, but what would happen to me to the other world? To the world if you just stop playing. Would I stay dead? What if you quit the game before I die? What happens to the characters in the story? The character story seller stops before he's done. He, she falls silent again. Watching the stars. Oh. 
Ben şey koşuyor ya da biz. It's like watching fireworks, except there's no beginning and no end. There's a constant stream of fire across the sky. Felicia is the first to break the silence. Have you, have you ever thought about how stories work? A while, I guess. Not really. Some, I guess. Oh, cool. Me too. I used to think about them all the time. Not about particular stories, but about how they work as a medium and why we love them so much. Have you ever thought about where a story lives? Like where it is? Like where it... I don't know how to really say it. Where it exists? I used to think that stories lived in, you know, books. Or in the mind of the person telling the story. Or whatever. But I think stories live in the brain of whoever's listening to it. When someone tells us a story, we go along with whatever they say. Because that's the easiest thing to do. What if they stop telling us what to do? What if someone told you a story and then stopped before telling you how it ends? Is the story dead forever? Doomed to be forever unfinished? What if you liked the story and want an ending? What if you didn't start it? What if you didn't start it? Are you allowed to finish it yourself? It's in your head at the point, right? At that point, you can just do whatever you want with it. Who's gonna stop you? And then, what if they did fin finish the telling the story? But you did. But you just didn't like how it ended. What if you just decided that it ended in a different way than they said. The very act of storytelling is itself a deeply collaborative activity, right? That is deep. That is deep. They have to tell a story, and you have to play it out in your mind while they tell you. That's how it works, right? What would happen if the audience rebelled and played a different story in their minds than the one that was being told? Would that story be any less valid or real? You can't, you can't just stop doing it before you get to the last page and write your own. If you don't like the ending, it's still the official. I can't, I can't just change the ending because I just want to think that I just, what, imagine a better ending? Yeah, I guess so. This is a game, right? If regular storytelling telling wasn't collaborative enough already, game storytelling kicks it up to a whole new level. In a book or movie, the author can at least know what you're you will read exactly everything as exactly as he wrote it. Someone writing a game though already has to cede a ton of control to the player just to make a make it a game. The player can already make the game tell an entirely different story than the one that author envisioned just in how they play. Maybe they can make the hero die instead of saving the day. Maybe they can, maybe they can just just not turn out to be bad enough dude to save the present after all. Maybe they don't turn out to be a bad enough to decision. So if you can do that, do you even need the game to tell you the rest of the story? If I'm in a story, then the ultimate control of the story is you. Then theoretically, you should be able to just decide that it ends however you want, and it will. Maybe you're right, I'll give it a try. I have faith, you can make the story go wherever you want. All you have to do is stop listening to the game's plans for the story, and start following your own. Although, if you're taking suggestions for the ending, might I suggest that I'd love to win the lottery and own a private tropical island. Just saying. So, you're still here. I'm still here. You've already been mangling the story by reloading, restarting, and undoing your choices, choices after you see where they lead. Why are you getting cold feet now? What's the problem here? Seriously, quit the game, walk away, write whatever ending you want for me in your head. Oh. Whatever you imagine by yourself would be every bit as real and valid as whatever the game is telling you to imagine. Why why are we still here? Why haven't you started writing writing your own ending yet? Oh 
Oh, I'm still here. Why? Oh, why are you telling me this? I'm saying where things go now. It doesn't work like that because I want to see if there's. Let's do that one. Oh, this is getting so cool. Okay. We have, I'm deciding th where things go now. Oh, I guess I was expecting something more immediate and dramatic. I guess I'm not really in a position to criticize, though. So what happens now? I assume it's safe for me to go home now, without fear of dying stupidly. This feels kind of anticlimactic. She walks over to her bike, parked next to the statue at the top of the hill. Somehow you're not even surprised when the statue starts to lean and then topples home. I will find an enemy. Wait. I really want to see where this game goes, but... I could just go and then... Man, oh, that's so cool, but... I think it's really the ending for this. Like, I'll just write it out and put a link in the description when I make it. So, if anyone wants to hear my version of how this ends, then you can look in the description below. <laughs> but first I have to finish this. This doesn't work like that, because I want to see if there's any... But it's still telling me a story. <sighs> this game is getting... like, it's... It seems hopeless now, like... Maybe I should just stop playing, but... I don't know, maybe it's just for, like, everyone else and also the curiosity, but, uh...